is the end of another week, our first week back from spring break. I hope you have a really, really nice weekend coming up. But we'll do our calendar today, we'll do a devotion, and then we have a third video today with um, an extra activity. So we won't do our whiteboard today, but we have another activity in a third video. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our calendar. The month, it stayed the same, but we're getting into the very last week of this month. It is April. So how about you go ahead and stand up and you can do whatever you want when we get to your birthday month this time. You can choose. All right. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Perfect. And now let's find out our day of the week. We just talked about how we're at the end of the week, the last day, so we know that it is Fun Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. And tomorrow will be the weekend. It'll be the start of our weekend, and it will be Saturday. Great. Perfect. We'll sing our days of the week song, and we will clap when we get to Friday. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Awesome. And let's take a look. We have purple, purple, blue, blue, purple, purple, blue, blue, and yesterday was the 23rd, so that will make today the 24th, April 24th, there we go, perfect, all right, so here it says today is Friday, April 24th, 2020, all right, and we'll write our secret code, so the four stays the same for April, the middle number is the one that changes, 24, and that last number will stay the same for a long time, 20, 20, oof, doesn't really look like a 20, but it'll be good enough for today. All right, let's go ahead, we'll click over another number. If we were at 134, 135, 136, 137 days that we have been working so hard, and it's been more than that, because we missed some at the beginning. All righty, let's practice counting by twos to start. I'll switch it up a little bit. Let's go twos all the way to 30. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Let's go by tens next. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now let's try by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Great. And let's count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome job, everybody. Okay. Let's grab a ones block and we'll bring it on down. Okay, so we have one group of 100, three groups of 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So we have 137, 137. Nice work. All right, whoops, and I forgot to move these out of the way from yesterday, so we'll do that now. All right, now, so I'll give you enough time to pick your guess. Here we go. Four. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four. Great. We can write our question. Four plus something will give us ten. Four plus something will give us ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus six equals ten. All right, and the weather today, I'm thinking it's going to be a cloudy day. All right, so our, we have four sunny days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven partly sunny, seven cloudy, and three rainy days. And we didn't do our calendar over the weekend when it was snowing, so we don't have any snow on there, but it snowed a little too much for my liking. I want some more sunny days coming up. All right, and here we go. So we're gonna add a penny for one penny a day. All right. So let's check here. We have one, two, three, four, five pennies. Can we trade five pennies in for another coin? Yes, if you said a nickel, you are correct. So let's move our pennies out of the way. And we are going to collect another nickel. So now we have two nickels and we know a nickel is worth five cents. So if one nickel is worth five, and another nickel is worth five, put them together, that is 10 cents. Do we have a coin worth 10 cents? Yes, a dime. So let's trade in those nickels. Two nickels equals one dime. So now we have a smaller amount of coins, but more money. Each dime is worth 10 cents. So if we count by tens, 10, 20, 10, 20, we have 20 cents. We're getting closer and closer to getting the quarter. And a quarter we know is worth 25 cents. So if we're at 20 cents today, how many more days will it take? How many more pennies will it take for us to get up to 25? What would be 20 plus something would give us 25? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So five days. Next Friday, we'll earn a quarter. Awesome job today. Great job on our calendar. We'll put that aside for now, and we'll do our devotion, and then we'll be done for this video. Today's devotion says, listen up. Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. Thank you, God, for giving me ears to hear. Be with me each day and help me listen to your plan for my life. In Jesus' name, amen. So sometimes I know right now it's kind of hard to be at home all day and not get to do um, what we would usually do. But just keep in mind that this is all part of Jesus' plan for us. This is what he's asking us to do, and we're doing it, and we're doing a really good job. And listen for what he's telling you. Maybe he's going to tell you to say some extra prayers today or help mom and dad today or um, color a picture or go outside. So listen up and he will help guide you and tell you what you need to be doing. All right. Nice job today, everybody. Have a good weekend.